Over the next few minutes, I will review and explain all of the options available in your register's back office system data. After watching this video, you'll know how to configure all of your Groove Register's operational settings. To log into your back office account, visit register.groove.com. Once logged in, select Maintenance from the top. Then select System Data from the Maintenance menu on the left. On this page, you'll see three tabs on the top, System Settings, Tax Rates, and Credit Processor. These are shortcuts to take you to the corresponding sectors of your system data settings. Time Zone and End of Day Start Time tells your registers what time to associate with your transactional activity and when to calculate your end of day totals. This is generally 12 a.m. your time unless your business operates past midnight. Require Clerk or Server Login configures your register to require employees to enter a PIN number before starting a transaction. Automatically Log Off at the End of Transaction configures your register to log off employees at the end of each transaction. Automatically Synchronize Data will automatically synchronize your back office data and changes with your active registers. If the Use Decimal Quantity option box is checked, you'll be able to enter inventory item quantities with a second decimal rather than only whole amounts. For example, 2.50 may be entered to indicate two and a half of an item. If you are a business that sells items in partial quantities, like a produce stand that may sell half of a pound of bananas rather than the entire pound, you'll want to check this box. If Show price if item price is zero is checked. The cost of zero priced items will still be shown on receipts and reports. If always print receipt is checked, a receipt will always be printed at the end of a sale. If not checked, the clerk will have to touch the reprint button to print a receipt. If a credit card receipt amount is entered, a receipt will be printed even if it is not checked. Currently only available in Groove Register with restaurant features, if Print Tip Line is checked, a tip line will always be printed at the end of a sale. If not checked, the tip line will only be printed for restaurant systems using tables. If Use Signature Capture is checked, a signature capture screen will be displayed after credit card sales. If not checked, two receipts will be printed so that there is an extra one for the customer to sign and one for them to keep. Place a checkbox next to any of the functions here to require manager override. That register function will only be available upon performing manager override login. Department item list sort order allows you to set the order items are displayed for the department lookup buttons on the register. Department item box size sets the size of the item display box in the department lookup screen and the tables display for the restaurant systems on the register. 200 megapixels is the standard size. Item and department key text format options allow you to set the style of the descriptors for the text on your register keys. Point of sale limits allow you to control the maximum amount of change that can be rung up quantity of items that can be entered at once, and the amount whereby the register must print a credit card receipt. Require Table or Seat options allows you to require servers to select a table or seat in order to begin a transaction. Prompt for Cash Drawer will require your clerks or servers to select which cash drawer they'd like to connect to when multiple are available. The Company Name slash Email Subject will allow you to enter the name you'd like to be displayed in the email receipt subject line. The email receipt reply to address allows you to provide the email address where you'd like to receive customer email responses. Next I'd like to explain definable tender keys. In addition to cash and credit, there are more tender keys available which can be assigned any name you'd like. For example, you can title one of these keys checks if that is an additional form of payment your business accepts. All of the transaction data associated with the tender's totals will be available within shift, end of day, and back office reports. 
The log on page image field allows you to enter the URL for any image you'd like to display on the register's log on and transaction display screens. You can save an image to Flickr or Image Shack, then enter the URL for that image here, and it will be displayed. There are four tax rate options available which can be set to any percentage. Here, enter the tax rates associated with the states or regions where you conduct your business. Lastly, at the very bottom of your back office's system data page, you'll find your credit card processing parameters. These are auto-configured and should never be altered by you for any reason unless explicitly instructed by our product support staff. Also, please remember after making any changes that you must select the Save System Data button to finalize any changes you've made to your system data.